going on guys so uh, we're gonna do a little bit different of a car video today so um, I'm gonna be building this 124 die cast size 1989 Batmobile um, I actually got this as a Christmas gift from my fiance thank you uh, but haven't had a chance to put together so during quarantine now I figure it's a perfect time so um, here we have it it's the 89 style Batmobile which is my favorite one for anyone who knows I'm a huge comic book nerd so this is my favorite Batmobile. It does come with the die-cast figure as well. So the body is all metal. Uh, so are the wheels. Uh, the tires obviously aren't. Um, but I believe all the other pieces, which I just took out here, these are all plastic. For anyone who's looking at it, these are all plastic pieces aside from the axles are metal. Um, comes with all the screws you'll need and the mini screwdriver that you're going to need. So uh, we're going to open the rest of this up. We'll take this out and we're going to assemble it. And we'll compare it to uh, an actual model that I do have uh, that Hot Wheels had come out with a bunch of years ago. So we'll see how the quality is on this bad boy and uh, check out the detail. So the assembly is all done. It takes about 15 minutes just because you have to be careful with some of the pieces that are kind of cheap plastic. So uh, if you look here, although it looks metal, um, the sliding door here actually is plastic, but they did make it functional so you can slide it. But I mean, it matches perfect. You would never be able to tell. This whole body is all metal. The uh, machine guns here, they are plastic, but they do rotate, which is pretty neat. Um, the fuel doors are just painted in so they do not open. The back uh, louver hatch, which is actually the hood, um, that does open up and you can see the turbine and everything in there. Uh, the back turbine down here, it's all plastic as well. And then when you slide open this, you can see it has shifter and dash for some of the gauges and the seats, which are also all plastic. But um, otherwise, it is real rubber on the wheels and the wheels are actually plastic but they do move as well and uh, the figurine is all metal except for the cape is all rubber so definitely a neat piece you can pick it up for anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars uh, i got mine at hobby lobby i've seen them on amazon and ebay everything like that so definitely something neat fun to put together and something cool to have if you're a batmobile fan so let me know what you guys think Thank you. 